last time we chatted, uh, the Eternals had not come out yet, but now that it has, how has life changed for you? Have you noticed anything different? <laughs> Is there a big cosmic shift? It's funny when I was in LA, um, I didn't, I, I, th th I mean, there, there was a big, there was a bit of a shift, but um, I actually live in Georgia in like a smaller town. And, and it's funny when, when people like around where I live start to figure out like, like people just talk a lot, you know, who lives there. It, it's almost like I'm extra famous where I live because people aren't used to seeing like celebrity. I mean, I'm not really that like, like a celebrity, but like people here aren't used to like meeting people or like knowing someone like that. So it's like 10 times more where I live. I feel like than LA, I feel like people are used to it. <laughs> yeah. The, the small town thing. No, I, I love that. Um, at this point, you know, I, I don't know how many other Marvel actors you've had the chance to meet, but I know you guys kind of get to go to each other's premieres when you have the opportunity. Have you met anyone that you've really wanted to meet or, or a moment that really stuck out with you of like a compliment or advice or anything like that? I got to meet a lot of people at Comic-Con. Almost everyone except like Captain America and Iron Man, I didn't get to meet. But I think I met pretty much everyone else. Um, but at D23, I was I was talking to Kevin Feige, who's the president of Marvel. Um, and we were having a conversation and and like, you know, I was talking to the president of Marvel, right? So like, I'm very like paying attention and being very like, you know, talkative. And I just, I look behind him and I see Tom Hall. And then I was like, oh my gosh, that's Tom Hall. And, and like, I just kept like, like looking to the side basically when I was talking to Kevin and he turned around and he was like, do you want to meet Tom Hall? And I was like, yes, please, yes, please. <laughs> um, I was like totally fangirling and, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's Tom Hall. And, but he's like this, like the kindest, like sweetest guy, like the way, the way he is in interviews and stuff, like he, that's how he really is. And he was like really excited for me because he sort of went through this thing recently, you know, he, how he was what, like 17 or 18 when he, when he got Spider-Man. So, so he was in a similar boat and, and he was like, you have no idea how much your life is going to change. Like, just like enjoy the ride. He was so excited for me. And later he came up to me again and he was like, I'm just so like excited for you. This is crazy. And, and I sort of like one up him now because I'm, I'm now the youngest superhero and could, he was, so it was, it was just a really like a sweet moment. He's such a nice guy. And, and I, I talk about it like a lot. Like I, I love him so much. I love that. You, you took over the, uh, the mantle of, of youngest. <laughs> yeah. I love that. You're like, bye Kevin. Don't kill me off. <laughs> I know. Like, I'm really trying not to be rude, but like, Tom Holland, right there. <laughs> Tom Holland. Did you uh did you see No Way Home? I of course I did, yes. And I, I knew I knew the big secret. I went to the Black Widow premiere and and I I, I asked one of the big producers because I'm I'm under like NDA and everything. And I was like, I was like, are all three of them in it? And he was like, yeah. I was like, like I but I could I didn't tell anyone. I did not. I kept my lips sealed, but I was very excited for the movie. I was looking forward to it. That's good. You're good with secrets. Well, Eternals had had quite a few as well. And uh, it was so hard. I, honestly, it was so hard to talk to you guys before that movie because I knew them and couldn't ask about them. <laughs> I know it was, it's so much easier to talk about it now because because back then, back like when we were doing those other interviews, I'm just like looking behind the camera and they're like, like, yeah. can I talk about that? No, nope, yeah. sorry. <laughs> I, I, you're not even supposed to like acknowledge the question. And I feel so rude. I'm like, I'm really sorry, but I can't answer your question. <laughs> What was the hardest secret for you to keep? Gosh, probably, probably that Tom Holland, I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> Harry Styles was in it. Tom Holland I, on the mind. <laughs> sorry, I was thinking about him. Um, no, <laughs> but Harry Styles was in it because I didn't find out till like halfway through shooting and I was like, what? Like, it's just so weird to think of like him as a superhero that I like couldn't wrap my mind around it. And like, I met him and, you know, I got to like talk to him and go to a couple of his concerts. And I was like, it, it, it was just like so cool, but I wanted to tell everyone and I couldn't. So it's really nice to be able to like post a couple pictures and talk about it now. You said you met him? I did, yeah. But there was a there was a, something that we shot the same day that he was there on the soundstage and we actually talked quite a bit. At what point At what point did you find out? Was it when you saw him or you found out beforehand? Were you like, what is Harry Styles doing here? It was like a couple days before. Chloe's so funny. She, he was like her little like prized possession, her little like secret. She was so excited to like have him there. We all were, but but she was, she just like loves him so much. And and she was just like, Harry Styles. And, and, and she like told me on the sly and I was like, are you serious? And she was like, do you want to see a picture of a super suit? And I was like, yeah, like, oh my gosh, like he's in this movie. It was funny. She, I think she like kept it in her back pocket a little bit until he came, until it was like time for him to come shoot. And then she told us and 
one day she was like, you wouldn't want to go to a Harry Styles concert week with me, would you? And I was like, is that even a question? It's funny. <laughs> so you went, you went with Chloe to a Harry Styles concert? Yeah, he had, he had a smaller private one in London and we, we got like special seats, like up in a lounge, like up, up a few of the Eternals went and it was, it was great. I've watched so many clips from the Harry Styles concert. I didn't get to go, but I'm so curious what it was like. Cause it seems like it's more like a variety show than it is a concert. I don't know, but he, he's like, so like charismatic on the stage and, and yeah. he's like he's everyone engaged and he's like, he's funny. And, and he like talks to the audience and he keeps you engaged and he's like so cute and his little dances. Like he, he's so entertaining to, to watch. I went, I recently went to another, another one of his concerts as well. We last see Sprite deciding to become human. Do you know what that means for you portraying her in the future? I think the good thing is that you can age and Sprite can age as a human and it all makes sense. (laughs) Grow up. Yeah. I don't have to be like shrunk down, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think, I think there's so many, so many things that can happen with the character. I think it's, I think it's cool that I'm the only one left on earth, which is interesting. I don't know if I have my powers or not. I mean, they don't really tell me much, so. Do you know the next time you'll appear in the MCU? No. Nope. Nothing. What would you like to see? I'm thinking I'll be in Eternals too. I hope I hope so. But it would make, I don't know, it'd be fun to make some cameos before that if I could, depending on what it would be. I, I don't know. I mean, any chance to be in a Marvel movie would be great. <laughs> That's the thing is there's so, there's so much going on right now. It's, uh, it's almost know. hard to wrap your head around it. Yeah, there's so many things <laughs> being made like right now um, in phase four. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah, because I, I had asked you before, I was like, who would you like to, to meet? And I, I think you said Tom as Spider-Man, but yes. I'm curious if that answer has, has changed just seeing things that have been added since Eternals. I, I, I would love to work with Tom. I think. I, I just, I love him so much. In the blooper reel, which is great, um, one of my favorite moments is we, we see Kit struggling to say Thanos, just like <laughs> repeatedly. Thanos, yeah. Thanos, Thanos. Uh, <laughs> Why don't you guys help fight Thanos? No. Sorry. <laughs> what was your biggest feat or, or thing that was most difficult for you to overcome while making Eternals? Some of the words, like we, we actually had a speech um, a wonderful lady Sarah on set um that that was that helped all of us because um Barry has a very strong accent um so she would help him with like to have, like because like pronunciation and so the audience can understand even, even Selma a little bit with me I had to speak Babylonian that that was probably the biggest challenge I still like remember some of the dialogue because it's so ingrained in my brain and I have like videos of myself trying to learn this like learning lines can be hard enough sometimes but like like Babylonian is just utter gibberish. It makes no sense. It's like mem- it's like memorizing sounds, and then I had to, I had to say all of it as a speech. But that was probably one of the most challenging things. And the thing is, my my very first day I spoke Spanish. All the languages were challenging for me. But I'm like, okay, I'm on a Marvel set. I'm not going to screw this up. I'm going to like know my lines and do a great job. So I always would come prepared. And I think I think Chloe made that like that. To her, that meant that I was like really good at learning languages, but I kind of wasn't. It was a lot of hard work, but she she kept giving them to, kept giving them to me because I was like the eager kid who was like willing to do anything. But she was she was she, I had, there was a few other things that were cut as well, but of, of different languages that I spoke. But she just kept giving it to me. I'm like <laughs> another one, another one. I Is there that. something that you went over so many times, like you're talking about wanting to get it so right that just at a drop of a hat you could just drop like an entire monologue? I think I still know a lot of the Babylonian. I still know. Oh, I still know um, my speech after I stabbed Cersei. Um, I know that like by heart. I I mouth the words when it's playing in 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 my whenever I see it playing. I know I know all the words. Just rewatching the movie or, or looking back on it, is there a flashback that comes to you, uh, like just a day of filming that you're like, I would love to relive this day. There's a funny moment that I always think about. Um, it's actually a very dramatic scene when Richard comes in and um, he blasts the human mind everywhere and everyone comes to realization that, you know, he killed Ajax. And that was such a long day. Oh my goodness gracious. Cause there was, there were so many of us in that one room. And so you think they have to get every single person's individual shot. They had two shots, they had a wide shot. 
then they had like, so we would like cut up the scene into sections and it just took forever. There was like little rubber glass things on the floor. And if you like, you, you could like squish them and it was just like really satisfying. And then they, they would just like disperse. Um, <laughs> but I kept like picking them up and then I would like throw them across the room and they would like bounce and stuff because we were all really bored. And I think Kumail was doing it with me too. <laughs> <laughs> But it was just really funny. And there was a moment and Richard was like, Leah, come on, stay in the seat. I'm like, right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like those Orbeez things. And you're just like, I just yeah, want to play with exactly. them. Exactly. And it was like, it was just like addicting. And I couldn't stop doing it. And I was like kind of destroying the set a little bit. And they came and yelled at me. <laughs> <laughs> like stop like, breaking yeah. the set. <laughs> they kept adding, adding back to it. It's the same thing with food. I would always eat the food the set dressing. <laughs> That's the thing is like you're supposed to like, I, I guess a lot of like actors like spit out the food or whatever, but then some people just like repeatedly eat. Like, I think like Richard was eating a I, bunch of Twinkies. Oh my gosh. I, I have had to learn that the hard way. It is so hard, especially when it's like right before lunch. We, we shot a scene at Gilgamesh's, at Gilgamesh's house and oh my gosh, the food was so good. It was just incredible. And I was supposed to be hungry. It, it, it's really, if you watch it, I'm literally like shoveling food. <laughs> but it came to the point where like, I had to start spitting it out because it's continuity. You have to do the same thing you did the first take for the rest right. of the day. So I had to keep shoveling my face full for the rest of the day. <laughs> Uh, well, you are such a delight. I can't wait to see you again. I hope we get you in Eternals too, but congrats oh, on everything. So great talking you. to you. It's great talking to you too. Bye.